telling Kenyans the different president shall be in office until around March 2027 when they will part away and each will form a political party to contest the elections of 2027. All Kenyans know that the National Assembly and the Senate completely ignored the law and did politics by hounding out the deputy president from office. Surprisingly, in Parliament and in Senate, the team that was after the removal of the deputy president was composed of seasoned lawyers who were suffering from legal am amnesia. They forgot that after their drama, the next battlefield is at the High Court. A matter came up today at the High Court. Remember, the law provides that upon an impeachment, the president has 14 days to nominate. He nominated three hours after the impeachment. The Constitution provides that Parliament shall have 60 days to deal with this question. Parliament sat within 15 minutes and gazetted that they have approved Professor Kindiki to be the deputy president nominee. A swearing-in ceremony was arranged at, Jamu, at uh, Uhuru Gardens the next day. And that's why I say, Mr. President, your legal team has failed you. You are finding yourself in a crisis created, masterminded, by incompetent legal advisors surrounding the head of state. The law on the assumption of office of the deputy president is that upon the determination of this is the person to be appointed, that appointment must be done the next Tuesday after that determination. That Tuesday will be declared a national holiday. That national holiday, the, that deputy president-elect shall take oath of office between 10 to 2 p.m. What was happening at Uhuru Gardens is a complete sham and an abuse of the constitutional and constitutionalism in Kenya. Today, the state came to pick an order that they have vacated the interim orders. My clients, Sherry Amtan, and very many petitioners had filed petitions. They were certified by the judges the judges referred those matters to the Chief Justice for impanelment on the 18th. The Deputy Chief Justice simply picked the files that had interim orders and brought them to court for them to be vacated. That scheme goes deep into very serious questions <clears throat> of politics. What was the position of the judiciary, the DCJ, in the elections of 2017? We have got to go back to the history. Where is the, D where is the CJ? The CJ's whereabouts are not there. 
And the CJ today has surfaced to send condolences of the loss of a magistrate. Serious contradictions. We are telling those UDA members, those who think that impeaching Gashagwa is a walk on the park. We are now in the arena where the constitution and the law applies. The courts after the high court, any party that we lose, this matter will go to the court of appeal. Any party that we lose, this matter will go to the Supreme Court. And I'm telling Kenyans, <clears throat> the deputy president shall be in office until around March 2027, when they will part away and each will form a political party to contest the elections of 2027. We are calling upon the judiciary to follow the law. And I am appealing to the media, you are the custodians of the people's rights. Proceed, we have information, an application is supposed to be done to gag the media that this matter is of national uh, security question. A good friend, Senator Manzo, will deal with that. We shall protect the freedom.